Welcome back friends. Hey, today we are reviewing the Blue Ox Track Pro. This hitch has been out for about a year. Uh, this is April of 2021, so this hitch has been out for about a year. Uh, we're going to talk about some pros and there are some cons. Stay tuned. Hey guys, real quick before we get started, this is not an install video. I'm going to link an install video from Blue Ox themselves in the description box. So if that's what you're looking for, that's where you need to go. This is just a review video. I hope you enjoy. So let me start by thanking Blue Ox for sending us this Track Pro. Uh, it's a sharp looking hitch and they actually initiated or gave me the idea to do our summer long hitch battle, which we will be continuing after we move on from the Track Pro. So uh, if, you're not, if you're not subscribed, that may be a good idea. If you want to follow along, we've got five of the, the best uh, well-known hitches for travel trailers all joined in and we're going to do a hitch battle throughout this summer and coming fall. Hopefully you'll join in. So uh, let's talk about the pros of the Blue Ox, what I do like about it. One thing they've done over the old Sway Pro is I've had the Sway Pro and I actually like this hitch a good bit better. But uh, one of the things they've done to improve upon the old Sway Pro is do a through pin here to insert your spring bars, trunnion bars. Um, I like that. And it's a tight fit too. It's a, it's a very exact fit. There's not a whole lot of play there. Um, same thing on this side, of course. Somebody mentioned in the Kurt video, so Blue Ox actually sent me this after watching the, the Kurt video that I did and said, hey, we've got a new hitch. Would you like to uh, would you like to test it? And I said, of course. We're not uh, beholden to any one brand. And they sent out this this hitch. But one thing I liked about the Kurt was the beefiness. And a lot of people commented, hey, maybe Blue Ox simply engineered all of the excess metal out to make it a lighter weight hitch on purpose. And maybe they did. I'm not. Uh, Certainly not denying that's a possibility. So in that regard, if you're looking for something a little easier to deal with, the Blue Ox is probably going to be your best bet. We've already received the other hitches in, and I can tell you the Blue Ox is the lighter of all of them. So as far as the hitch head's concerned, I got it, again, I've got a two and a half inch shank, and it's still lighter than all of the others. The bars as well, you'll notice they taper. Like I said, we'll talk about that in a second. But I want to do the pros first. Another big pro to this hitch, let's go back here. I unhooked and let's go back here to the trailer and it's really windy today. One thing I love about this hitch is the thickness of these. Let that light adjust and lighten you up just a little bit. There we go. The thickness of these saddles. I love these things. This is one solid piece and here on the other side as well. You can see that. Very nice saddles, very nice thick pin. Uh, to give you an example, let me go get the Kurt pin. All right, here's a good side by side of the pins that lock your bars in. And just as I gave Blue Ox a hard time for not being a little beefier at the hitch head, well, I got to give Kurt a little bit of grief here for not having as big a pins here. And your saddles, the, uh, let me see if I can get a good comparison here. You can see the Blue Ox is a little thicker in the saddle department too, especially up here where it hooks to the actual frame. So you'll actually, you'd actually have a situation similar to this when you hook into the frame for the Kurt and the Blue Ox is just a much beefier, it's a weird angle much beefier setup for the actual saddles back here. So I like that more when it comes to the Blue Ox. All right, back here to the hitch head. Uh, one more pro about the Track Pro, as I do like the Track Pro more than the Sway Pro. I've had several thousand miles on our old Sway Pro, um, and I, I definitely like this hitch a lot better. I don't, there's no more dealing with the weird saddles, the cog type saddles that you have to twist at the frame. I do believe that the friction type hitches work 
a little better than the chain type and I'm quickly starting to learn that and I do think that the Track Pro is a better performing hitch than the Sway Pro. Now here comes some cons. Blue Ox is a big fan of these tapered trunnion bars, spring bars, whatever you'd like to call them. Uh, the weight distribution and uh, anti-sway part of the system. And I can tell you the fact that these bend, it's maybe a personal preference, but you get a little bit of porpoising. So I prefer that, uh, I do like the Kurt a little more in that regard, that it doesn't porpoise as much. Performance wise, I'd probably give a slight edge to the Kurt uh, over the Blue Ox Track Pro. As far as living with them, I, I, I'm probably going to give the edge to the Blue Ox because they're just the bars are a lot lighter, the hitch head's a lot lighter. But uh, but I don't want to give too much away because we're doing our hitch battle all summer, and uh, you'll have to wait for the end results on which one I would actually choose. But those are the pros. A little bit of porpoising here. I mean the cons. I'm sorry. A little bit of porpoising with the spring bars. If you like a smoother bump, maybe you go with it. I like it to kind of just be over with hit the bump, be done with it, and uh, not have so much of this going on afterwards, porpoising is what we call it. Uh, also, for some reason, this particular side has been difficult to remove from time to time. Nothing that I couldn't handle, nothing that was a sincere problem, but for some whatever reason, this side seems to be uh, have an issue being removed from the saddle more often. I don't know why, and you can, but you can see here, as they sit, let me you can see, I'll show you this here. It sits a little lower, just sitting here. So that's kind of weird. Um, maybe that's the reason why it's tougher to get off. But, um, but yeah, that's been an issue from time to time. Precisely the reason why I like to spend some time with these hitches. I don't want to just take it down the road for a few miles and then make a decision. All right guys, one last con with the Blue Ox. I had to move my uh, propane forward to allow the proper clearance for our trunnion bars, spring bars to fit and those saddles to fit. So you're supposed to have very specific measurements back here and uh, no matter, I think it's 20 to 24 inches, neither one of those would have worked with my old location of propane tanks. So I had to move that forward, kind of a pain. Not all of you will have to do that, but I did and I didn't so, like it. Yeah, overall, I would recommend this hitch if it's something, if you don't want to carry a heavy hitch, if this may be one that you're interested in. It's performed well, really windy today on the way home. Uh, it doesn't eliminate sway, it controls sway. So let's be clear about that. Uh, most of these hitches only control sway. The Pro Pride, of course, uh, hopefully that one's on the way soon. Uh, it's supposed to eliminate sway, we'll see. But you could feel it back there today with the wind, but it was nothing that uh, worried me. Anyway, I hope this was useful. Just a quick review of the Blue Ox Track Pro, the newest hitch from Blue Ox. A big shout out to them for sending out the hitch and giving me the idea to do our summer long hitch battle. Hope this was useful, guys. If you got somebody that thinking about a Blue Ox, make sure to share the video. Appreciate it. See ya.